Hi, my name is Andrology and welcome to my channel. So this time I'm reacting to Beyoncé. I want to react to the new album from Beyoncé that's called Renaissance. I didn't listen to the album yet, so I want to react to the album with you. I also listened to Break My Soul. I wanted to make a reaction video, but unfortunately I didn't figure out how to press play. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So the first song is I'm That Girl. Okay, it's very nice so far. Now we're getting more upbeat. I really like the vibe so far of the song. Okay, it's switching up. Okay, this is the first song, I'm That Girl. I like the direction and what it's going. It kind of reminded me of Partition, kind of sexy, groovy. I really love the harmonies of the song. So I think it's a good song. This will not be my favorite, I'm pretty sure about that. Let's get into Cozy. Okay, hey, wait, 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 wait. I have to start again. Okay, this is really cool. This is kind of reminding me of the sound of Destiny's Child. It's like in the year 2022. Wow. Okay, Cozy is really cool. Cozy is like the Beyonce that I expected to be on this album. Yes! This is so cool! The speed! Yes! This is so catchy! Nice. Comfortable in my skin, cozy with who I am. Ah, it's like this song is what Beyoncé represents in the music industry. She's so vocal and so comfortable being a POC that still to this day don't have the same rights as white people have so I'm really happy about this song existing and that this song is on the album because it really is like it embodies what Beyonce stands for and what she will be remembered in the future. You have no idea how hot it is as I'm recording this. Please do not be alarmed, remain calm. Okay. To leave the dance floor. One, I'm the only one. Okay. Don't even waste your time trying to compete with me. Category. Oh, this is really cool. It's inspired by the ball scene. You can like hear the influences from it. It really fits well to Beyonce's voice. Type of what? Whoa, 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 whoa! I wasn't ready for the refrain. What? Whip, whip. Okay. Okay, I have just listened to the first chorus and I can tell that this will be my favorite from the album. Like, this sounds really amazing, really cool, really fresh, nice. You, when you perform, eyes on eye when I put on, my pillow hike get in the air. really unique. This this whole song is unique. Beyonce, you're so... Wow! <laughs> I love the ball vibe that she's giving me, but the chorus, it hits so good and it sounds so heavenly. The production, the instruments in the background, her voice, it all sounds so heavenly. Really cool, really cool. Really love the sound. Really love the song. Okay, the next one is Cuff It. I don't know where this is going, but it's interesting because I think this is a very rare sound from her. This is very groovy, very disco, and I wouldn't picture Beyoncé making this kind of music. Very interesting. 
This is really catchy like this. We gon' fuck up the night. Nice! This was really a nice, smooth song. I really liked it. Now comes energy. On stage, rocking out stir crazy. Coco flow like 1980s. Come lit still, I drop lazy. None of that may be energy. This is so cool. I'm really sad that it's such a short song. Yeah, it's just turned into terrorists. <laughs> Cause then Karen's just turned into terrorists? Wow. This is genius. Shots fire. Really shots fired. Wow. Turned into terrorists. Wow, the transition from energy to break my soul is really nice. This is like so smooth and I love break my soul. I don't like the hate for break my soul because I think this is a really good song. Maybe because it didn't get a video, it's so underrated, but I really like the song. Yes, Break My Soul is such a good song. Okay, so the next song is Church Girl. Okay. She gon' shake that ass and I'm pretty tickle bitties. So get your rag dive in the water. Drop it like a thotty, drop it like a thotty. I have to say this one. I like the harmonies and I like the story that she's telling, but I don't like this song so much. I appreciate it for what it is, but I'm not the biggest fan of this song. Okay, so this next song is Plastic Off The Sofa. Hmm. Okay. This one starts really good. Okay, I have to say, Plastic of the Sofa is also not my favorite. Like, mm, I don't know, there's something something missing. Production-wise, I would kind of wish that there would be more, more highs and lows in the vocal range, because it's Beyonce. 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 I'm hoping that we're going back to the high energy tracks like Energy, Break My Soul, and Alien Superstar. I'm looking forward to those. Burgess Groove is the next one. Okay. Okay, this is promising so far. Okay, this is what I talked about. Mirgis Groove is really good. It's really interesting because it sounds very calming and, and at the same time there's so much going on sound-wise. Wow, oh, the love of my life. It sounds so smooth. It's such like, it's like sipping a tea with a lot of honey. That's what this part sounds like. Out. Like the vocal range you have in this song, Murgis Groove is like all that I wanted from Beyonce to hear on this album. This is like six minutes of perfection. This could be my favorite so far. Okay, so the next song is Move, which is promising because it may include moving and dance music. Move. <laughs> I think I'm going to love this. The part where she says move, 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 move kind of sounds similar to me to the song Press by Cardi B where she's like press, 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 press. Maybe it's just me, but I kind of hear some similarities. This is so cool. This is such a cool sound. This is such amazing. 
I like that there are two parts of the song. Like there's this one sound there, she's like very aggressive and then it turns to very smooth. Where it's like she's now in her white zone that she talked about or sung about. So the next one is Heated. This is me right now in this flat because it's so heated right now. The song is really cool so far. This heavily falsetto voice that she is going into with this dark drums in the background. It sounds so good for me. I don't know why, but it sounds really good. <laughs> so now it's kind of getting really hard to choose which song is the best one because Roof and Heated are really good strong songs like Alien Superstar as well. This is one of my favorites. So the next one is Thick. This sounds really interesting for me also. It kind of sounds like PC music. Loving me good, I told him go harder. I don't know what it is, but I think the songs go even harder the further we listen to the album. Big, such a cool song. Come on. Okay, like this song needs a music video so bad. Say, I think is such a cool song. It's like like Beyonce bragging about her life and what she has achieved, but also very body positive. And I really love the production. Like such the mood and the vibe you like get sent into just listening. All up in your mind is. Okay, this is so not what I expected it to be. All up in your mind, I was like, maybe that's the ballad. Maybe she puts in some ballads as well, or like some slow songs, piano. This is like, not what I expected, but it's so good so far. What? Okay. <laughs> Wow, I'm still not over this song, so I'm very sorry if I didn't say very much. It's just because this was very captivating. And I just wanted to enjoy listening to the song for the first time, and I think I will listen to the song a lot more. I know I said that, like, the songs before, but I think that All Up In Your Mind could be my favorite song of the album. This is really something that I haven't heard before, which I really appreciate. I was thinking like the best would be in the first half of the album, but I think this that the second half so far is superior. So the next one is America has a problem. Okay, this song sounds really good so far. Not what I was expecting from the title so far, also lyric-wise. Like, this is a whole different vibe than I was thinking it would. Hmm, I have to say, I'm I'm not upset about the song. The song is amazing and it's like easily one of my favorites of the album. I was just hoping that it would be more political. I I really like it and I think as further as I'm going through the album I have problems deciding which are my favorites. Which is really rare because at the end of most of the albums it's like well mm, these are in it too but like the, the best bits are in the first part. Pure Honey is the next one. <laughs> Hot for the feminine away. 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 Hot for the feminine away.
This is like heavily house music inspired. I'm not mad about it because I love house music, but it's interesting that she's choosing this kind of sound. Interesting. To the right. It should cost a billion to look that good. But she make it look easy because she got it. Study my technique. Uh, all the pretty boys to the floor. Uh, get your money. This was not a smooth transition, like this was a total change in music. Me by bitches to the left. Now we are back. Much it costs a billion to look this. I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan of this song, but for the first listen, it's really hard to get into. So that was Honey, and it is not my favorite, to be honest. We are already at the last song. I mean, like 16 tracks is a lot nowadays, if you listen to to music. I think it really went by fast listening to it. So Summer Renaissance, which is like kind of like the title track. Let's listen to it. Oh wow. I wanna house you make it take my name. Cannot... It kind of sounds familiar. Like the beginning sounded very familiar, but I don't know from which song. Oh wow! Of course I know the song. I don't know the title of the song, but yeah. I know the production. I'm not the biggest fan of this song. I don't know why. Maybe it's because the original is so iconic. Like, I love the ending. Like where she was singing very strongly and you can hear her higher voice. This was my favorite part of the song, to be honest. And this was the album. And I have to say, before I say anything further, I think this is a cohesive album. I appreciate the work that Beyoncé put into this album because it sounds very experimental for her. Like it's heavily house music and from the ball scene. It is not that kind of pop music that you would like listen to on the radio or you would expect, but there are some bangers on here. So my favorites are Alien Superstar, Energy, Break My Soul, Very Scroof, Move, of course, Heated, Thick, All Up In Your Mind, and America Has A Problem. These are the songs that I instantly liked and could be my favorites. It's really hard to decide one favorite song, but I think All Up In Your Mind and Alien Superstar kind of did it for me. I don't know why, but there was something that I want to listen to these two in particular again. So these would be my two favorite songs of the album. After one listen, of course, this could change easily after some time. It's a good album. I will listen to a lot of songs again, and I think it's a really cool, groovy vibe. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you like this video. Uh, if you like this video, let me know in the comments below. Let me also know in the comments below what is your favorite song of the album. And leave a like, leave a subscribe, and see you next time. Bye!